NWA Connie Corsos proudly presents the Southern Classic Litter. The breeding between Scandifio's Rambo and NWA's Nyla is confirmed, and pups will be here within 30 days. Get ahead of the pack by getting your application in at nwaconniecorsos.com. Our pups come with a 24-month health guarantee. Contact us on any platform at NWA Connie Corsos. We stand behind our dogs. David Morrell Jr. Super middleweight champion of the world introducing El Bandera Roja David Benavidez. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Well, if you were excited about a possible fight between David Benavidez and David Morrell at least happening next, I got bad news for you. It's not happening next because according to reports, David Benavidez is targeting Jaime Munguia. And according to Oscar De La Hoya, they're in serious negotiations. This completely confirms that David Morrell has completely stripped David Benavidez of his title of being the boogeyman in the sport of boxing, at least at 168. I have always told you guys on my channel that I believe that David Morrell would be David Benavidez's most difficult fight. In fact, I believe Morrell would win that fight. And this move by David Benavidez completely proves that even he feels Morrell would be a very difficult fight to win. David Benavidez versus Jaime Munguia is not the worst fight to be made. Financially and business-wise, obviously it makes sense because it's a safe fight and it's a complete fan-friendly fight. However, David Benavidez's father, he came out months before, before his last fight, before his fight with Caleb Plant, and he said that they had already signed a contract. They had already signed a contract to fight David Morrell, Charlo, and Demetrius Andrade. And now, according to Oscar De La Hoya, they're in negotiations to fight Jaime Munguia. That doesn't really add up. Jaime Munguia, who just took another small step up in competition that was long overdue, fighting against Sergey Darren Yamchenko, which was life and death for him. He managed to survive the fight and get a W, and now he's in serious talks to fight against David Benavidez next. You know, in David Morrell's last fight, he actually called out David Benavidez, who was there ringside. And surprisingly, David Benavidez completely ignored the call out and didn't even respond to him. And then later on, David Benavidez, he said that uh, David Morrell needs to get his name up. He needs to make his name a little bit bigger to make that fight. But the problem is Ronald Ellis didn't have to build up his name to get a fight against David Benavidez. So clearly Benavidez has an enormous amount of respect for David Morrell's talent and skills. Now, when it comes to the Jaime Munguia fight, there were also reports that Jaime Munguia was in negotiations with Edgar Belanga. So when it comes to what Oscar De La Hoya says, of course, we have to take it all with a grain of salt. We'll see how serious it is. We'll see if David is really going to go through with this and fight against Jaime Munguia. I think it's only going to be a matter of time before they do end up putting David Benavidez in the ring with David Morrell. And when I say they, I mean PBC. Morrell is very fortunate that he is a PBC fighter. It's not like he's a top-ranked fighter trying to get a fight with David Benavidez. That means it's more easier to make the fight happen. But once again, David Benavidez, he knows that that's a very, very tough fight to win. I think he was really impressed with David Benavidez or David Morrell's last performance, and he thinks he should take some easier fights before he gets in the ring and possibly loses to Morrell. Right now, David Morrell is the regular WBA champion, and David Benavidez is supposed to be Canelo Alvarez's mandatory, even though the WBC president just came out and said that David Benavidez won't officially be the mandatory until March of next year, which means they're allowing Canelo Alvarez to fight at least two more opponents before he's forced to fight David Benavidez or be stripped which is the reason why David Benavidez versus Morrell, that fight makes all the sense in the world. And the winner of that fight will truly be the king at 168. Let's see if it happens later on. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.
All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, and inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.